Hi, I'm Emily Lakdawalla, standing outside Planetary Society headquarters on a gorgeous February day in Southern California. Last week, I talked to you about seasons on Mars. This week, I'm going to talk about dusty NASA treasures in need of restoration. One of my favorite examples of these is the global view of Mercury from Mariner 10. Now, if you look at the version that you see printed in books and on NASA websites, you'll see it looks like a patchwork quilt. And that's actually what it was. It was a whole bunch of individual photographs cut and pasted together to make this global view. Nowadays, with modern computing, we can make this photo look absolutely stunning, seamless, colorful, gorgeous. It looks like it was taken with a modern spacecraft. So why does NASA still show us these old pictures? Well, it has to do with why NASA is making these pictures in the first place. You might think that they make the pretty pictures from space to show them to you. As a matter of fact, that's not true. They make these pretty pictures from space to show the media. The media are then supposed to show them to you. Once NASA's funding for emissions runs out, they can't make the media show you these pictures anymore. Mariner 10's funding ran out before modern computing, so this is the image of Mercury that we get to see instead of this one. Another reason that NASA doesn't always make the most of its data to make beautiful photos is because the photos weren't taken to be beautiful in the first place. They're supposed to be science data. And when scientists manipulate these images, they're not seeking to make them atmospheric, lovely shots. Instead, they're trying to bring out subtle contrasts and details. They colorize them to make the most of the data. This is fantastic for science, but it's lousy for giving you a sense of what these places actually look like. One of my favorite examples of this is the highest resolution Voyager 2 view of Uranus's moon Miranda. If you go to NASA's website and download this image, you'll get a weird kind of circular view that's very contrasty and it's hard to make sense of it. But if you actually manipulate the photos to make them look like you would see if you were standing on Voyager 2 and looking at the moon, you see this gorgeous, strange, lumpy shape with mountains and valleys. It's absolutely stunning. And the same is true for an awful lot of Voyager 2's other views from the distant reaches of the outer solar system. What you can see from NASA was for science, not for pretty pictures. A third reason why you may not see these pictures from NASA is that many of the images weren't taken for science anyway. They were taken for optical navigation. It may be hard to believe, but spaceships still steer by the stars. They take a photo of their target with the stars behind it, and that helps them understand where the spacecraft is. But these photos that they take of distant planets against a background of stars are often the most emotionally arresting views of these worlds. One of my favorite examples of this is the views of Mars taken by Viking 2 as it approached. You look around on the web and you won't find any of these. I finally found a single example in a back issue of Sky and Telescope. But of course, when it was produced in the mid-70s, they didn't have modern computers. Nowadays, these views are amazing, atmospheric. You can see frost on the ground and clouds in the air. Mars looks just like Earth with weather and climate. It's stunning. Now, the good news is NASA is not holding this data back. They've put it all on the web. It's all out there just waiting for people to dig it up, dust it off, and make it pretty for anyone to view. NASA may not have the wherewithal to do this now, but space geeks do, and more and more of them are getting into the practice of digging up old data and making gorgeous photos from it. Keep watching Snapshots from Space every week, and I'll show you more and more beautiful pictures from this national treasure of the wonderful data from the spacecraft exploring the solar system.